How does the Bitcoin halving actually work? Can anyone stop the halving? The idea of Bitcoin is fairly simple, perfectly scarce money. That's not a hard concept to grasp, right? Most people are mad about their dollars getting debased over time, so it's only logical to want a money that doesn't get debased. Yet still, some people have trouble wrapping their head around Bitcoin. They may question if it is actually scarce or if its scarcity can change over time. If you didn't study computer science and you haven't read Mastering Bitcoin, then it is very reasonable to question the scarcity of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is not about trusting, but verifying, then how can a normal person actually verify the scarcity of Bitcoin? In Bitcoin Core, which is the Bitcoin software, we have this function called get block subsidy. The initial subsidy is calculated in Satoshis by multiplying 50 with the coin constant, which is 100 million Satoshis. This sets the initial reward, which is in subsidy, at 5 billion Satoshis, or 50 Bitcoin. Next, the function calculates the number of halvings that have occurred by dividing the current block height by the halving interval, which is subsidy halving interval. Next, the function uses the binary right shift operator to simply divide the reward, which again is in subsidy, by two for each halving. In the case of block 840,000, this would binary right shift the reward of 5 billion Satoshis four times for the fourth halving. And that would result in 312.5 million Satoshis or 3.125 Bitcoins. After the 33rd halving, the subsidy will be rounded down to zero. And to avoid a potential bug, the shift operation is skipped after 63 halvings and the subsidy is then set to zero. This is how Bitcoin works, but who actually runs this code? Who runs the software to what we call Bitcoin? Well, you can, anyone can. It's actually fairly cheap and easy to run Bitcoin Core on a very basic computer. That's actually the whole point of Bitcoin. This is what makes Bitcoin decentralized and resistant to critical changes from any group of people. If a group of people tries to change any critical rules of Bitcoin, like increasing the block subsidy or delaying a halving, they can't automatically update the Bitcoin software on everyone else's computer all at once, including your own computer. They would need to convince everyone else to run their new version of Bitcoin, and as long as some people continue running the current software, then the new version will just result in a whole different coin a hard fork like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, or Litecoin. So this is why the halving can't be stopped. There are thousands of people running Bitcoin full nodes, again, the Bitcoin software, all around the world. Anyone can update the code and create a new version of Bitcoin. The hard part is convincing everyone around the world to actually start running your new version of Bitcoin, and then also convince everyone to start calling your new version of Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So now you can see that Bitcoin is basically a set of rules, like the halving schedule, with no set of rulers. And that's what makes Bitcoin such a good form of money. A perfectly scarce money with no rulers having the ability to change the future supply. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.